F-16s will allow Kyiv to act more effectively against Russian cruise missiles. American-made F-16 fighter jets that will be delivered to Ukraine will aid the Ukrainian armed forces. However, they have limitations on the front lines, according to the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces, Alexander Sirsky. Sirsky said that the F-16 will strengthen Ukraine's air defense and allow Kyiv to act more effectively against Russian cruise missiles and accurately strike ground targets. However, he emphasized that there are limits to the capabilities of the F-16. They will have to stay 40 kilometers or more from the front line due to the risk of being shot down by Moscow. The arrival of F-16 aircraft in Ukraine has not yet been announced. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said at the NATO summit in Washington in July that Lockheed Martin's F-16s would fly in Ukraine skies this summer. According to him, Denmark and the Netherlands have already begun transferring F-16 fighters to Ukraine. Meanwhile, the White House website published a joint statement by US President Joe Biden, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte and Danish Prime Minister Met Frederiksen on the supply of F-16s to Ukraine. The Danish and Dutch governments are in the process of donating American-made F-16s to Ukraine with the support of the United States. The transfer process for these F-16s is now underway and Ukraine will be flying operational F-16s this summer, the statement said. President Zelensky said that Ukraine will receive several F-16 aircraft from Western countries, which will not be enough to fight on equal terms with Russian aviation. In his opinion, to create effective competition against Russia in the skies, Ukraine needs at least 128 F-16 fighters. General James Hecker, commander of the US Air Forces in Europe, said that the arrival of F-16 fighters in Ukraine will not be a panacea. According to him, Ukrainian pilots will not gain air superiority within just a few weeks. Russian Brigade manages to lose 200% of its personnel, command is concealing the losses. The commander of one of the motorized rifle platoons of the Russian Armed Forces said that the losses in his brigade are twice as high as its total strength. Ukrainian journalist Yuri Butasov drew attention to this. On the video made public on social networks, the Russian lieutenant admits that the army of Ukraine killed or wounded about 12,000 of his fellow soldiers, but the command is concealing this. The staff strength of the Russian brigade is up to 6,000 people. That is, the losses amount to 200% of the personnel. Given that almost all losses are infantry units and the number of infantry in the brigade is up to 50% of the formation, it is obvious that the infantry has been renewed four times. The Russian army maintains its combat capability only by constantly replenishing its personnel. And judging by the video, the Russian officer had some bad premonitions, Utusov noted. Through open source research, Mediazona, a Russian independent media outlet together with BBC Russia, confirmed the names of 59,700 and 25 Russian soldiers who had been killed since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Since Mediazona's last update in early July, the names of 1,518 Russian soldiers have been added to the list of casualties. The journalists note that the actual figures are likely significantly higher as their verified information comes from public sources such as obituaries, posts by relatives, regional media reports and statements from local authorities. On July the 5th, Russian media outlets Medusa and Mediazana published a report indicating that approximately 120,000 Russian troops have been killed since the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Russian army casualties have risen sharply in recent months amid a failed renewal Russian offensive. According to research by BBC Russia and Mediazona, Russia lost over 10,000 soldiers in Ukraine over the past six months. President Volodymyr Zelensky claimed in an interview with the BBC on July the 18th that around 20,000 Russian troops were killed during Russia's failed
scaled offensive in Kharkiv Oblast. Since Russia began its all-out war against Ukraine, over 3,700 officers, with 437 holding the rank of lieutenant colonel or higher, have been killed in combat in Ukraine. The analysts note that at least 11,933 Russian inmates have been killed on Ukraine's eastern front.